Right, today we are painting the pool deck. So it's gotten a bit dirty and Dad cleaned it while we were here, but it just won't come up. Um, so I think it's time for a paint. So Dad is doing the perimeter and I've got a roller over here to roll the middle bits. So Dad's gonna do all the hard bits and I'm gonna do the fun easy bit. First fade done, and it looks so good. Wow, so much cleaner and fresher. Very nice, and it's actually really fun to do as well. I said it's like whitening someone's teeth, taking it from a horrible yellow to a lovely white. But we've had to bring our flip flops out because we now won't be able to get in through the door, especially once this is done. So we'll have to go out down the side and back through the front door. All done. This is the current state of my feet covered in paint. Now what you're gonna do? Get it sweaty. <laughs> Very hot. Um, Hooey! Alright. Stage one complete. Done. Now to do the complicated bit around the pool. Something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin We've done one coat on all of this bit, two coats all in here, and then we've still got all of this, but I'm about to head to golf. I'm gonna have some lunch, and then I'm actually going to play golf with my dad today, although I'm not playing golf. I'm just gonna be driving the buggy and filming some of it, and um, he's gonna be playing golf, because I don't like golf, and I don't play golf. So, we're leaving this patch here, so that mum can sunbathe while we're gone, and by the time we're back, all of this should be dry, and we can put all the furniture back into <laughs> the cage. Um, so we've got furniture all down here as well. Um, but yeah, that is it. So now I have to walk down <laughs> the side of the house in order to get back in. My feet are still covered in paint. They're even more covered in paint now. Um, here we go. Oh, it is a lovely day today. One thing that I wish British houses had, which I think you could get British houses with this, is the code. I think we sell them, but um, so much better than using a key. Also, me and Leah bought this. Who remembers buying this from Walmart with Leah on the John Leah channel? We also are gonna be painting out here because this needs painting. Right, we're all ready and off to golf. <clears throat> we start in about 20 minutes, uh, but luckily we live next door to where we're playing, so it's not too much of a rush. But the one thing we're worried about is, because I don't play golf, I don't have any golfing attire, so apparently the correct thing is like tailored shorts, polo shirt, like a cap, but like a proper golfing cap, smart shoes. I don't have any of that. I've just got my sports shorts on and a t-shirt, so Dad has packed a few spare items, haven't you? <laughs> You're gonna look really stylish. No, I won't. I'm gonna look like an old man. I don't know why golfers can't like dress more trendy and look cool. They're the only athletes, in inverted commas, that like look stupid when they play. You have to wear the uniform. Mm. Oh well. Hopefully they'll let me on, because I'm not even playing, I'm just driving the buggy, so I can tell them I won't get out the buggy. But um, Dad's even given me some long white socks, because apparently they're what you wear, but I haven't got the correct shoes. So I don't know. shoes for you. Okay, thank you. Luckily we're the same size, so we can. Uh, we'll see. Just to avoid anyone stopping me, I've whacked this on, which I'm gonna take off when we're on the golf course. And I'm gonna change out of my fashionable Adidas shoes into these unfashionable Callaway black leather shoes. At least I'll look the part. Here we go. They look absolutely horrendous. Oh, there's me hat, my tailor-made hat. So I'm not wearing my cool New York Yankees hat. Instead, I'm wearing this. Uh, the only thing missing is the shorts. I think I'll get away with this. Golfing chic. 
Dad's got his clubs. What are you aiming for today? Uh, numbers wise. Numbers wise, any score less than 100 on this course would be good for me. Okay. Last time I played here, I've got about 100. Yeah. And okay. I've used these golf clubs for two and a half years. Wow. That'll be the excuse if you do badly. Uh, what you need when you're playing golf is as many as excuses as you can possibly get. Number okay. one, I haven't used these golf clubs for two and a half years. <laughs> and two, haven't played this golf course. Two yeah. And a half years. Okay. Number three, I haven't actually played around the golf for about a month. Number four, you haven't got any golfing partners. Normally Ben's here and he plays golf. No one to encourage me. No. Number five, it's a bit hot. It is a bit hot. Obviously, it's quite a hard course. That's true. Number seven, alligators. Okay, so there's quite a lot of excuses in there. <laughs> I should be carrying that because I'm your caddy That's today. True, yeah. Yeah. For number eight, I have an awful caddy. <laughs> Let's go. See if there's a key in the buggy. Uh, go and get a key. What's this? Wow. Oh, wait, here, shall I? It's cool. They've got a high tech little thing up there. I guess an iPad or something. Oh, very good. Annoyingly, I forgot my sunglasses. They're in the car, but we are running late, so I'm going to have to make do without my sunnies. I put Fact 50 on my face because my goal during this is to get a tan. Dad's goal is to play golf. I have to make lots of encouraging noises and, like, well, well hit. Good shot, Dad. Really good job. Um, so that's why I'm here, but I'm mainly here for a suntan and I haven't put any on my arms So I do need to do that. Maybe he'll let me have a swing of the golf club just for the video Because uh, I'm sure some of you would want me to play golf, but it's just not my thing. I don't like golf I used to play it growing up with dad like when I would have a day off from school He'd take me to the golf course and we'd play but Ben was the only son that got into golf. I didn't. Have you got the key? Yep, I've got the key. Let's go the key to the Oh great Right, you can drive first because I don't know how to do this. We wait till we're on the course and to drive. Yeah, there. it's a bit safer that way. Oh, whoa! It's got some acceleration. <laughs> so we're looking for Mr. Starter. Have you got that piece of paper? Not paper. Oh, the receipt. So this is the guy that I need to impress with my outfit. That's for the really good people. Oh, I see. This is for the. Oh, this is number one. Yeah, this is for the next good people. Yeah. And then. So where are you going? Go off of these ones. But you're good. No, I'm not. You are. Rick Shields ain't got nothing on you. Well, there was no starter, so I might as well whack this off. Unless I get reported. There's the first hole. One 209 yard shot and then a 133 yard shot into the green is what I'm looking for. Right, I'll hold you to that then. Yeah, but it's gonna happen. Right, let's go. First one. Give Caddy's me some coming. more. Right. Caddy's coming. That's my new title. Caddy. It's a lovely golf course. It's nice houses over there. Oh, there's a rake. Someone's left their rake behind. Do you want me to carry the other club? Yeah, I'll take that one from you. Thank you. This was Eddie's putter. Was it? Oh, my granddad's putter. Look at this house opposite. They've done it well, nice. With all of their plants. Very good. Here you go. Thanks, Paddy. You're supposed to put them in the bag. Oh, okay. I'll drive. You're supposed to do everything. Yeah. What you're supposed to do is get up and hit the ball. Well, you can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> so right, onwards. Whoa. No good at all. What we have to do now is repair that. <gasps> Fun. Repair. What do you do with that? Wow. And what does that do? Just Fertilizer. colours it. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Don't worry, all the best golfers do that sometimes. Yeah, but the worst golfers do it far more often. <laughs> Well, you're supposed to do that. Yeah, you are. Every shot you take, you're supposed to take a divot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's what I thought. You're supposed to take a divot after the ball, and I took the divot before the ball, uh, which is why the ball didn't go very far. Well, I can edit that out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I've got to go get a rake. This is my first job as a caddy. I'm the best caddy there is. <gasps> It's a hard job being a caddy. To repair all of the footmarks. Oh. Uh, all of your footmarks are supposed to be raked out. Oh, I see, I got loads on up there. Oh, well. Never mind. Right, we've arrived at hole five. Dad's warmed up a little bit more now. So let's see how many we get on this one. How are you going to play this one, Gary? How am I going to play it? Well, this club nearly always goes right. So I've got to aim it a bit left. Here we are, 180 yards apparently. It's 80 yards left. 80 yards left.
Very good. I think I'm getting a burnt nose, guys. I did put fact 50 on. Good one. Oh, cart is too close to the green. Please move cart. Okay. Let's go into reverse. I'm being told off by the cart. I'm gonna have to go back onto the path. taking a shot over there. I've just seen an alligator in here and he looks like quite a big one. But you can just see his head. He might run away, run away, swim away, or he might choose to attack. But can you see him yet? There he is. This bird is hilarious. He keeps moving his neck. I think it's warning me. Don't come close. I'm not scared of you, you're very cute. You're cute if anything, you're not scary. So the alligator ran up the hill and now he's running back down because the dog's barking at him. Oh, he's terrified. Little does that dog know that that alligator could kill it in a second. <laughs> oh dear. Look, there's a big one here. Wow, he's huge. He's the biggest one I've seen this trip. In true Florida style, it started out sunny and now we're having a bit of a rain. I'm getting wet. Sun will be back out in about two minutes. Classic. There's an otter that was chasing the sand crane. So the sand crane's been getting very irate. Yeah. Dad's got to do a scooter apparently. You hold the club low and what? Hit the ball low. Go under the tree. Okay. Scoot, scoot. That was a brilliant scoot. <laughs> Fantastic. And Dad did it in 95, which is at the start you said 100. 100 would have been good, but even better, I did the last nine holes in 45, so that was good. Amazing, so yeah. total of 95. Very good. My camera's literally about to die, so I'll update you when we're home. Right, we are now coming to my favourite place. It's firstly, celebration. Secondly, a restaurant called Colombia, which ironically I think is actually Cuban. But it's not spelt Colombia like the country, it's got a U in it, but it's very nice, isn't it, Mum? It's lovely. Yeah, yeah really yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, it's very nice. And they've got a shop there as well where they sell hand-painted plates and jugs and things like that. So I want to have a look because I might... This is the first time, really, I've been to Colombia since owning a property. So it feels a little bit different. And I'm like, oh, I'd quite like to um, maybe buy a platter or something to take home if I can get it home in one piece. Um, yeah, it's a very nice evening. It's a nice reward as well after a busy day of painting the deck and going to play golf. That car is too loud and too big. It's obnoxiously loud. Right, here we are. Columbia. So while we wait for our table, this is the shop. They've got sangria mix. And they've got jugs and things. They actually don't have plates, they've got little ones like these. But they don't have any big platters. Salt and pepper shakers, they're quite cool. I think Lucy would hate them, but I like them. <laughs> yeah, I like these, but I'd never get them home. Yeah, little one. I thought. Lovely. 
Here we go. Uh, Caddy needs some wages. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you enjoy golf today? Golf was wonderful, yeah. And do you rate Providence as a as a golf course for any golfers out there that watched? Yep, definitely the golf course is Golf course friendly. Good. Easy to play. Yeah. <coughs> Easy access. Yeah, it was good. Pretty as well. Lots of wildlife. That's Yes, that's true. Lots of alligators. Right, we've gone for some white sangria, which comes in this jug here. And this is the best part, Cuban bread. And it's warm with some whipped butter. It is hot. It's lovely. Sorry? No. We need to go to the, the Trattoria. London where they make it in a cheese wheel and they yeah you would love it it's really cool it's a carbonara yeah in the big cheese wheel yeah but this is my favorite salad the 1905 salad that they toss in front of you with turkey oh, so good mum and dad have both gone for paella that was meant to be for one person, but they decided to share it. Look how big it is. It's more than enough, isn't it? Right, I got some purchases, but I will show you when we're at home. But this is what me and mum do after we've been to Colombia. I go to Kilwins for some chocolate, which we actually did after our bike ride the other day. This is what I'm getting, a white bunny tail. Mum's getting one of those, but she likes the look of these. Anything with nuts. Oh, I thought it said turtle when I came in the other day, but it's a tuttle. Nice. These look good as well. Bark covered in well, nuts, covered in chocolate. Do you know, I might have one of those instead. Yeah, do it. They're 100 calories less. Yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> we say as we're in a chocolate shop. <laughs> you guys can see where I get it now, all the calories. Look at these apples. Wow. We've got them. I went for, well, I already told you. Is that worth a change? Mm. Delicious. Mmm. This is too. Very nice. Milk chocolate, cashew truffle. Mmm. Yeah, you normally go for this, but mm. is it better than one of these? It's as good as. Mm hmm. And it's less of it. Less, <laughs> less calories. <laughs> <laughs> this works out of five dollars. Four eighty-four for this one drop. And this is one thirty. Mmm. Mm. Hello everyone, I'm back now. So I thought I'd show you what I bought from Colombia. So firstly, I brought uh, the dressing, which is on the salad that I had, which is their secret recipe dressing, um, which is good. I mean, it's 200 calories for two tablespoons of this, but I'm gonna have it um, when I'm home in London. So that's gotta go in my actual luggage, but I think if I wrap it up with lots of plastic bags, then wrap it up in my clothes, I think that will be absolutely fine. And then the most exciting thing, I mean, I don't know why they've wrapped it in wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper, but I bought a jug for sangria. Ah, oh, I love it so, so much. It's got a number on it on the bottom. Um, yeah, really like it. As my mum said to me, she was like, you like eclectic stuff, don't you? And I do. Um, my mum would never buy something like this because it's too busy and too money patterns. <laughs> um, but I really like eclectic things like this. So my challenge is to get this home in one piece, um, but luckily I can take it in my hand luggage. So I've got complete control over it. So I think it will make it back in one piece. Um, if it doesn't, then what a waste of money, but I'm hoping that it can, and that will be so nice. I absolutely love it.